morning, firefighters are trying to prevent tragedy this holiday season and keep people from losing their homes. KCRA 3's Kristen Simoes is in Sacramento with the Sacramento Metro Fire this morning to show us the most common dangers people can come across at this time of year. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, May. Now, one of those dangers occurs from people just trying to stay warm. As Eileen said, it's getting really cold at night. People are turning on their heaters for the first time, pulling out the space heaters. We've got Battalion Chief Pat Ellis with SAC Metro Fire with us this morning talking about some of those dangers, in particular the space heater being a big one for you guys. That's right, Kristen. Um, often when it start, the weather changes like it has, people are pulling out these heaters and they haven't, they're not used to using them. A um, couple problems. Number one, they put them by the curtains and uh, blankets get dropped onto them. Little kids get near them. They can cause burn injuries. But the big thing we're really concerned about with is causing a fire inside the home. Okay, so the advice is to keep all objects about three feet away? Keep it three, three, three to four feet away from any, any type of combustible, blankets, curtains, things of that nature, paper, and certainly keep the little kids away from them. Okay, and another really important one to mention, people starting fires in the fireplace using charcoal. Briquettes, I didn't realize that was such a big problem. Yeah, that's a huge problem. The charcoal, the briquettes put off a, a, a tremendous amount of heat. They're obviously great for barbecuing outside. The big problem we have with those is that they put off a, 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 a tremendous amount of carbon monoxide, which is a poison, odorless poison gas. Okay, so one of your tips this time of year is to check out your carbon monoxide uh, and your smoke detectors, right? We've got one of those carbon monoxide detector right here. Right. These are very inexpensive and they're very cheap life insurance and these give us an early warning. If there is a fire, if there is a carbon monoxide problem in the house, it gives you a warning to get outside the house and then we can go over and check it out to make sure it's okay. Quick last question. I know smoke detectors we should have in all of the rooms. Do you need a carbon monoxide detector in each room no, too? We recommend at least one carbon monoxide in the center of the house um, and preferably the hallway. We would like to see a couple of these in the houses and certainly if you have an RV, put one in your RV as well. Okay, and obviously make sure the batteries are fresh. They say change them twice a year. Thank you, Pat. And uh, in a little bit, we'll be back. I think we're going into the kitchen to check out some of the biggest safety issues in the kitchen this time of year. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Kristen Samos. May, back to you. Definitely going to follow you in there. Thank you, Kristen. It